In this tutorial for new Blender users, I'll show you some uh, parenting and tracking techniques that I use when modeling my scene. All right, so here's a simple object in the scene. One of the most basic, and you may have seen this in one of the other tutorials, is that I'll come in here and I'll select the camera, and, and then I'll shift and select this object here. I'll press Control T on the keyboard, and I'll just track to the constraint. And by doing that, then when I have control the camera like this, by moving it around, it'll just point at that object like that. So I'll be able to track it in the scene. So if I got another window by moving this over here, press zero to make that my camera view here, then as I move this object camera up and down, you can see it's changing it in the scene. Well, that really helps, though sometimes maybe you're here and you want to look at it, you know, the object from a little bit different orientation. So sometimes uh, tracking it to the object itself is a little tricky. So what I'll do is I'll clear this. I'll just, since the camera's there, I'll press Alt-T and I'll clear the track. And instead, maybe over here, maybe where that cursor is, I'll add an empty. Shift-A, I'll add an empty to the scene. And then I'll do as before, I'll go back here and grab the, where's that camera? There's the camera. And then I'll shift and grab the empty. And then I'll press Control-T and I'll track to that constraint instead. And what that allows me to do when I move the camera is I can move the camera up and down like that, but I can also just come over here and pick the empty and move it around. And so it kind of gives me an extra dimension of control when moving around the scene or looking at the scene. All right, so that's tracking. So now the other thing we want to do is we want to parent things. We want to make, say, this a parent object and then maybe a smaller object is part of it. So let's just, I'm going to press Shift D and make a copy of that and just move it out of the way. And then I'm going to press U and just make it a single user object data materials and text. And then to verify that I'll come over here and you know, I'll just get a different, I'll just make a color called green and I'll turn it green like that. So he's a separate object. I'm just verifying that. And then I can press S and move it down here. Now notice its object center has moved along with it in here so it's not it's scaling or rotating around its own object center and not around this one here. But say I want, say this is the sibling to this larger purple one and if I want when this one moves I want this to move. Alright? Well I could set up several independent keyframes and move them like that but the easier way is just to grab this object you grab that object parent it and you set the parent to the object. Now when I move this object here it moves along with it and also if I'm looking at it from above and I press R, Z and I rotate it, it's rotating along with the object as well and this is really useful. In fact, and then let's maybe say this one has a sibling as well. Alright, so we'll shift D again and move one up here like this. I'll make that a single user object. I'll turn I'll make uh, another color here. I'll call that blue. Change it to blue. Maybe move it up a little bit more. And I'm going to since you select that one first and then this one next. And then control P and I'll parent it to that object. Now that's, that's a sibling to that and this is a sibling to that. So let me get rid of this window here real quick. I don't need it. So now when I rotate this on Z they all three rotate. However, if I rotate this on Z, only that rotates there. So it helps you align things in the scene and it helps you when you do your animations that way. If you're doing keyframes, you can do it that way. If I rotate that, it only rotates around itself. All right. Well, that's that should help you get started in, you know, making your objects in your scenes and keeping things in control. And, and that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.